Uh, my name's Duran Wynn. I'm one and zero, uh, and I'm fighting Devin Fisher. I think his name is. Yeah. I, I wrestled my entire life. I wrestled since I was four years old. Um, uh, out of high school, I was a blue chip prospect. I uh, I kind of had some bad grades, and so that's the reasoning I went JUCO. But I, I could have went. I had every single top Division One school calling me. Uh, so I think this is why. I'm different than a lot of guys that people don't understand is I should have been wrestling at the higher level in college, but uh, I, you know, I didn't have the grades to, so I, um, I, you know, had to mature to do or whatever. But uh, anyways, so so I wrestled uh, at, at JUCO, and then I went NAIA, and then my school, uh, Linenwood, um, they were transferring to D2, so. My senior year, which would have been my senior year, we would have blacked out, which we, you wouldn't have been able to wrestle at nationals. So instead, I um, I actually, instead of staying there for my senior year, I moved to uh, Colorado Springs, Colorado, to the Olympic Training Center in 2011. And uh, I lived there for roughly a year and a half, uh, tried to make the 2012 Olympic team, and uh, didn't make it. I was young. Uh, I was 20. I think I was 22 uh, trying to make that Olympic team, and then uh, and then after that, I, I got an offer to move to train, move and train full time at Iowa State uh, University, and uh, I moved there. I, I lived there for the last four years, and I trained, uh, you know, internationally, traveled the world, wrestled, uh, wrestled at every single world team trials and Olympic trials uh, since then, and I. Um, you know, I, I did fairly well. I had a good career. I beat a lot of really top guys. I beat a lot of world medalists and Olympic medalists, stuff like that. And um, I just never was that number one guy. So uh, I, I've had a lot of success. And then so I, I tr so uh, last summer, not not this last summer, but the summer before that, I came out. So I've known D.C. for a long time. And, um, and so I came out here to kind of um, get some different training in with him and kind of, you know, do some wrestling with him and stuff. And while I was out there, and I've always loved fighting. You know, I've always been a fighter. I, you know, I've gotten street fights and stuff like that. And uh, but I, I didn't think I was gonna fight. I thought maybe I'd go to 2020, maybe do another cycle, try to make another Olympic team or something. But I, uh, I, I, I got out here and I, they put some gloves on me, and I just, and I, you know, I just fought how I would fight. And my manager Bob was there. Bob Cook, he was there. And I think he told DC after he saw me fight, and he was like, "Hey, uh, we got to get this guy. You know, does he want to fight?" And um, so they basically, I was there for a week. They basically convinced me, and I. And the thing is, I told DC, I was like, "Hey, man, don't bullshit me, bro. Like, like, let me know, like." I, you know, because I, I always have a place in, in, in wrestling, you know, because I've been at the highest level. I could coach, you know, a lot of places or whatever. And I was like, don't bullshit me. Don't, you know, don't don't just try to get me out here just because your managers want me, da, 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 you know, because you know I have a good solid spot in wrestling. And he was like, Duran, no. He's like, man, you're going to make a lot, a lot of money, dog. And he's like, if I could ever give anybody, um, you know, any advice, I would have never went my second year for the Olympics. I would have just started fighting. He's like, imagine how rich I would be now, you know? I was like, all right, makes sense. So, uh, so you know, I basically told him, I was like, you know, just straight shoot me, bro. Like, don't don't give me, don't feed me this bullshit. I was like, let's do it, you know? And and, and so then, you know, I probably a few weeks later, I, I signed with uh, Zinkin, Zinkin Entertainment, and, uh, you know, signed with Bob and Dwayne, and and I, I moved out here. I, I, tri I Olympic trials were last April, and uh, after that, I took about a month off, kind of just enjoyed myself and uh, moved out here. I drove out to California, my car, U-Haul, and uh, just drove out here. And uh, I've been here for, it'll be a year and a couple weeks now. Oh, full-time fighter, bro. I'm committed to this game. Yeah, yeah, this ain't no. And that's another difference between us is like, you know, we're like, it's like I got recruited again, you know? So it's not like I'm out here kind of just, hey, I'm going to go move out to California and see if I can fight and, you know, you know, kind of survive. I'm like, I'm here for I'm, all my chips are in this bag right now, you know? I mean, I, I'm really not too worried, bro. I, uh, I and, and being that said is, you know, you can say it's coffee, cocky, but I'm confident, man. I, I train with the best guys in the world. Uh, I feel like I have, you know, I'm, I'm obviously a world-class wrestler. I have some really good skills already. And um, I'm not here for that. I'm not here for this. I'm not here for this show. You know, I'm really just using this as a stepping stone. And so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like stressing about, you know, the opponent or who he is or, you know, obviously I know his background. He's like three and seven. So, I mean, honestly, I'm not too concerned with him.
um, and you can take that how you want it, and he can take it how he wants. But I come in, I, mean, I plan on coming in, I'm going to finish in the first round, and that's it. I mean, that's it. It's going to be, it's not going to be this dog, you know, a dog fight or anything like that. I'm just going to, you know, kind of solidify who I really am, you know. You know, I'm out here at the throne, it's Koscheck's gym, and so he's here from time to time. He actually hasn't been recently because, I, you know, I think he's kind of, Gonna, gonna hang him up and stuff. He, he's he's kind of moved to some other places. But uh, I'm with uh, Chris Honeycutt, and uh, he's you know he's a, one of the top middleweights in um, uh, Bellator. I think he's like nine and one. Um, and then I'm with Ed Ruth, and he um, he's also a top guy. He's he's three and zero. He just won the other night too. And so I actually re- me and Ed actually wrestled each other at Olympic trials. So I think it's pretty rare that you get two guys who competed at such a high level in something here training together with each other you know pushing each other so uh so that and then dc is like my big bro i go down and i I, a lot of times for his camps uh i go down and i help him wrestle and um you know he helps me whenever i need and and so uh, the good thing about having the zinc the being with bob and stuff is those other guys at aka they they help us out a lot you know like josh thompson uh kane velasquez you know they're they're i'm we're forever picking their brains and we get to go train with them one-on-one anytime we want so it's a it's a really it's a huge plus for guys like us um i'm going good i was i was uh after my workout this morning i was about 10 and a half over and uh i feel fine i uh you know i it's be my first time this low for almost a year since Olympic trials. So basically this 190 is about a little bit over 86 kilos, which I wrestled. So I really was making like 189 scratch weight, but I, I get big, I, you know, I weigh like 215. I'm pretty thick, you know? And so, uh, so this is my first time getting this low in like a year. So, you know, I just, I, I played it smart, but it's good right now. I, I probably won't be having too much fun like on Thursday and Friday, but I, it, it's, I'm, as of now, I'm good. My, my energy's pretty high, so yeah. No, it's middleweight. I just, um, I guess me, uh, it's kind of selfish of me, but I, I'm not looking to, uh, I wasn't looking to make 185 for something like this until, until we get up in a big, because in reality, I'll take the 205 fight. You know, I don't want to kill myself for the low pay and and maybe not as tough as opponents, you know. And so uh, getting get into I'm, I was going to wait till I got into a bigger organization to uh, really commit to that. So like because like I said, I'll take the 205 fight. It, it doesn't bother me, you know, so because uh, I've been wrestling bigger guys my entire life. So it, that doesn't bother me at all. Uh, we kind of have a couple things on the board right now. And I think the reasoning um, we haven't went Bellator is because Chris and Ed are both 185 guys, and and um, it just wouldn't be it would be really hard to have all three of us, and we all train with each other every day, you know. So um, yeah, I think we're looking at um, you know I, we like I said I can't say too much because I know some things behind the scenes, you know, and I don't want to you know x anybody out yet. But um, but yeah, man, I, I'm thinking after this fight, we're uh, I think we're we're looking to do something and. Uh, and it, it's 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 not gonna be Bellator. <laughs> you can ask my friends. I love to talk shit. That's one of my favorite things to do. No, I uh, dude, I just chill, bro. Especially in camps, I um, I it's literally, man, it's the same thing. It's freaking get up, train, come home, watch some TV shows or something. You know, go train again at night, come home, watch some TV shows. Um, dude, I like to chill, bro. But I, I also like to get out. I you know, I, I like to have a good time. I like to you know interact with people. I'm very social. I um, um, you know, I like to do a lot of fun things like that. And I love to travel. Uh, I've, I've traveled my entire life for wrestling, so I love to travel, man. I love to get out. I love to do. I love to do fun things, you know. So uh, that's really all I'm about. I'm about having fun, bro. I picked up a bunch of sponsors for this fight. I didn't for my last one because we were so iffy on opponents and everything. Um, but uh, shoot, I got a good. I, one of my buddies, Josh Catron, he uh, he's a real estate uh, agent back home. He he uh, sponsored me. I uh, uh, my buddy. Uh, Craig Childs and his wife, Bailey Childs, they own Primal Gear. They sponsored me. Nike Wrestling has been a sponsor of me for the last three years. Um, who else? Oh, the Gold Gods. I got a couple buddies who own a gold company. They uh, they um, sponsored me for this fight. Uh, who else? Oh, my club from back home, Greater Heights Wrestling. Uh, they sponsored me. Uh, DC's DC sponsored me, his wrestling club. So DC uh, DC's wrestling club sponsored me. 
and uh, Oak Grove Technologies, uh, they, they sponsor me and a bunch of our sinking guys, and they've been with me since day one, even when I first signed when I wasn't even fighting. So they're uh, they're kind of like my number one right now. They're 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 uh, they're awesome. Um, who else? Uh, my buddy Brady Hottishell from back home. He owns a hemp company. They're sponsoring me for this fight, and uh, I think that's all. I don't want to leave anybody out. Oh, uh, actually, the uh, Conquer Fighting Championships, the uh, the 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 organization I fought my first fight they're sponsoring me so yeah man i picked up some good sponsors for this fight and i have instagram uh twitter i'm uh i'm just drawn win on instagram and uh i'm don't blink mma on instagram but you can find me under uh drawn win i think i'm going with that don't blink thing right now because my first fight they're like don't blink you know what i mean so i um and then you know i have facebook i have everything so I, i'm pretty like i said I'm, I'm pretty out on social media so you can find me anywhere